So here I'm going to show you how to stop a continuous reconciliation job when you use the stop button that does not actually stop the job. Right here you can see that my asset management sandbox job is set to continuous. As you can see this little icon here shows that it's a continuous job and the job status is in progress. So if I now go and access the job, we can see the status is in progress. But if I want to stop the job, so here you can see the job is still in an in-progress status, so it's not actually stopped the job by using the stop button. So we then go and again edit the job, set it to inactive, change the schedule to recurrence, and save. Now you can still see that the status is in progress still. So what we need to do now is access the RE job runs form and delete the record, which I will show you now. So to delete the record, open the form using the mid tier. So the form name is RE colon job underscore runs. Search for a run status that is set started. So you can see here that there's one record which is related to the asset management sandbox job. Now we need to scroll right across to be able to delete the record. And so delete the record. We can see now the job status is no longer set to in progress. It is now set to cancelled. So if you want to run the job again, you just need to go and edit the job, set it to active. Um, if you want to set a schedule, do so. If you want to set it back to continuous, do so. If you do not want to do this and you just want to start it as a batch job manually, then just save. And then we can just run the job again. And we can see here now the job is set, is completed. So that is running manually in a batch mode. But as I said before, you can then go and set it back to be a continuous job if you want. Set a schedule for it to run by schedule or, as I said, run this manually. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.